your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. That's why Machinery Pete has partnered with Big Iron to launch Machinery Pete Auctions, a powerful resource connecting buyers and sellers of used farm equipment. Welcome to Machinery Pete TV Auction Edition. Hey folks, welcome to the Machinery Pete TV Auction Edition. We are previewing our November 23rd online auction at machinerypeat.com, an absolute sale with no buyer's fees. And I tell you what folks, this is not a, a large sale in terms of number of items on the sale, but we have some extremely interesting equipment for sale. Uh, you're going to want to stay tuned as we check out this equipment and get ready to hit that bid button because we've got some beautiful equipment here, including a 2011 Kenworth T800 Semi with just over 29,000 actual miles on it, and our feature item that we're gonna be previewing on the November 23rd sale, a 2019 Case H 6150 Combine with that vintage retro look, low hours. Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. Well, folks, if you've been following along my breadcrumb trail of posts on social media, you know that good use skid steer values have just been uh, on fire here throughout 2021, and particularly this fall. Uh, just incredible. I know on October 30th, a Saturday, a farm auction in southeast Minnesota, we saw a New Holland LS170 with low hours on it sell for $27,000. Now, that was over $7,000 over the previous record, which had, by the way, just been set back in March. And a week before that, October 23rd, in Watertown, South Dakota, on a little farm auction, we saw a Bobcat 773. So, of course, I mean, I've seen a million of those things sold, but that thing went for 275, 7,500 over the record, which again was just set back in March of 2021. So, good use skid steers have been red hot when they're in good condition. And on our November 23rd uh, Machine Repeat online auction, we've got a nice skid steer for you to check out. We have a Case 420 CT on tracks with 2,674 hours on it. Now this is for sale from our friends at McCullough Implement Company in Watsika, Illinois. That's the northern part of the state of Illinois there. And this 420 CT they're selling on a November 23rd sale as you've been looking at the pictures here. Very nice unit. Uh, they had it advertised for sale just under $25,000. And again, it's going to sell absolute uh, with no buyer's fees on our November 23rd uh, machine repeat online auction. We've also got a very sharp tractor. This 2015 John Deere 7210R, it's got 8,023 hours on it, IVT, big pump, 2630 display, and it's auto track ready. So the 7210R, of course, that's 210 horsepower. Now this item is from our friends at Central Equipment Sales in Hugoton, Kansas, down in the southwest corner of the great state of Kansas. Now it's interesting, folks, if you look at a John Deere 7210R, and we narrow it down to 2014 to 2016 models, the current average dealer advertised price on that 2014 to 16 model 7210R is $121,918. But interesting to note, that average dealer advertised price has gone up 10.3% just in the last two months. A little sign there of how hot the used tractor market has been, not only at auction, but on the dealer lot. So again, really, uh, great opportunity here if you want a nice tractor just over 200 horse folks selling absolute on a November 23rd machinery peat online auction. Stay tuned coming up we're going to take a look at some equipment from Midwest Machinery. Hey folks I want to welcome my good friend Mark Stock co-owner of BigIron.com uh, Mark, great to see you again. How you doing? Hey, I tell you what, doing great. I love fall weather. It's the fall time of year, and uh, by golly, I like Thanksgiving and just got done with Halloween. Good stuff. It, yeah, my favorite time of year, too. I'm with you, buddy. Uh, we got some uh, uh, great equipment to talk about on our November 23rd Machine Repeat online auction here, Mark. Let's start off. Let's head down to Tennessee. I don't know if you can see. I got my Tennessee volunteer sweatshirt going here. Good folks at Ag Central Cooperative in Athens, Tennessee, which is kind of about midway between Chattanooga and Knoxville on the eastern side. Got kind of a unique item, Mark, a 2012 Anderson Hybrid X inline bale wrapper. Um, you know, you don't see these things every day, but uh, boy, hard to find. And here's a chance uh, if you need one on our sale November 23rd. 
You bet, and it'll wrap round and square bales. Donna. See here in the notes, Greg, that they put a brand new Honda gas motor in them. So if you want to keep that hay good, there's a lot of demand for hay in certain parts of the country. We've seen some drought areas. Good way to keep that hay safe and secure by getting it wrapped up. Right, and I was uh, interested, Mark, uh, of course, the An Anderson Group there, <clears throat> their history goes back about as long as I do. I think they started making hay equipment in 1988. Um, and I've just noticed over the years when these Anderson bale wrappers uh, show up at auction, they, they seem to attract a lot of interest. So again, pretty sharp 2012 model here from Tennessee folks, hop in and, and uh, bid on that if you're looking. Now, Mark, our good friends at Midwest Machinery Company up my way in Minnesota here, they've got, I think, uh, six items with us. Uh, let's, let's talk through some of the items on the sale here. Uh, while we're on the topic of hay equipment, let's just start with the round baler they've got on our auction, a 2013 John Deere 569. It's up out of Glenwood, Minnesota, which looks like 30 miles from where I grew up, uh, west central part of the state, 18,000 bales on it. Uh, yeah, an, an opportunity to get yourself uh, an eight-year-old round baler here. Nice baler, big flotation tires too. So uh, I know a lot of people, they like to do some corn stalks uh, with these machines too in these uh, fall months. So if you need a baler, you can still put this thing to work and get some return off of your investment purchase. Also, I know, uh, Greg, a lot of people with their 179 right now getting done busy with their tax person and uh, want to buy some good quality equipment. Uh, buying on an auction platform is a great place to go check out. Right. Absolute sale here, folks. No buyer fees. Uh, again, November 23rd. Uh, this 2013 569 round baler mark. Now, of course, we see uh, lots of round balers, 569s sold around the country. Um, I've seen them as high as 41,000 this year and then on the low side down to 7,000. But again, uh, lots of pictures uh, of the round baler here. So if you've been looking for one, folks, hop in and check it out. Now, Midwest Machinery uh, also has a tractor on the sale mark. Uh, uh, our friendly orange paint, the Kubota. Um, it's a M135GX, just under 8,100 hours on it, selling with a loader. Um, these loader tractors, of course, have been pretty hot the last 12 months at auction, haven't they? They've been very popular, very hot. You can't get a new one for quite some time. All supply chains are still being affected. Uh, so these tractors, if you find one, you best be prepared to keep bidding and buy it. And uh, these Kubotas got great reputations, folks. They are durable. They got good dealer networks around the country, and they'll take good care of you if you've got a, a little issue with it down the road. So um, once again, 8,100 hours, I wouldn't be scared of this tractor one bit. Parts availability and more dealers. Yeah, the Kubota, these loader tractors, the resale is pretty solid. They are very solid. In fact, uh, coincidentally, I just had a call from a gentleman today said he's looking for a tractor with a loader and he would prefer a Kubota. To he, what's coming up on an auction? Of course, I'm painting him your direction. Yeah, well, we, we appreciate you pointing him to the Machine Repeat Online Auction, November 23rd, Mark. Now let's talk a couple more items from Midwest Machinery on the sale. How about a pull type sprayer, a, a 1998 Fast 1000, uh, 60 foot boom. I think it said a Raven 440 controller. Um, now, this, this company is interesting, Mark, fast, of course, again, up my way in Minnesota, I think out of Wyndham, Minnesota, but I actually got to visit with uh, the founder of Verlin Fast and his son, Cody, great folks, but nice sprayer here on the sale. Yes, it is, 60-foot booms and the five-nozzle body. They just replaced the pump, so you shouldn't have any issues there, and uh, uh, these sprayers, as everybody is trying to find good quality equipment, they're, they're holding their value really, really well. Uh, this thing here, if you look at all the pictures, looks like it's had some good care. So, um, uh, you know, buy a good quality manufactured item right out of the Minnesota area. Yeah, again, 1998 Fast 1000 on the November 23rd sale, folks. So check it out. And last couple items from our, our good friends at Midwest Machinery, uh, John Dudelow there in, in Minnesota. A couple heads, Mark. Um, you know, a little late in the season, but uh, boy, we got a 2000 John Deere 930F, 30 foot uh, platform out of Madison, Minnesota, great town there in west on the western border of Minnesota. And then also a 1991 John Deere 925. So a couple uh, heads for people to bid on here. Yeah, if you uh, got tired of your head last fall harvest and you want to get something different or updo some upgrading, you got your chance here buying this equipment at an auction that uh, sells with no reserve. I like the no reserve platform, Greg. I think you and I are both fans of that platform because uh, 
Uh, nobody seems to be wasting their time. Give everybody the opportunity to buy it uh, by establishing a price through honest competition is still the best way to uh, buy and to sell equipment. And here, these two different headers will help anybody out if they want to upgrade for next season. Right. And Mark, I was looking on our machinerypeat.com website this morning. And of course, all our auction pricing is free, folks. Just hop on over there. But we have search filters. And if you uh, zero in on an item like a 930F head, and again, this one's a 2000 model on the auction from Midwest Machinery uh, from Madison, Minnesota. But we've seen 18 uh, 930Fs between a 99 model and a 2001 model. So exactly what this head is. And I've seen them as high as 7,000 bucks. So again, uh, hop on and check out these two heads on the sale November 23rd. Your next piece of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com. Well, Mark, we have got a few beautiful pieces of equipment to talk about here. Let's start off. We'll go to a neighboring state of mind here over in Wisconsin. We have a 2003 John Deere 93 24-wheel drive tractor. Uh, just under 5,400 hours on it. Now, I understand you have uh, visited with the owner, who, who I believe is Scott Zimmer. Well, that is correct. Scott Zimmer has got a really nice four-wheel drive tractor, folks, that uh, they've stuck a little over $30,000 into getting this thing ready for the new owner uh, just in May of this year. They put new injectors. They've redone the transmission. They got a new AC condenser on the tractor. All the oils and the filters have been changed. Uh, so Scott is the second owner on this tractor. They put it on, uh, he's put on about a hundred hours on this tractor since he's owned it and he is retiring. And, um, I tell you what, take a look at the pictures, good quality tractor, and you can sure contact Scott and ask him any questions about it as well. Yeah. And it looked like, uh, Mark, that Scott just purchased the 9320 back in, uh, mid April of 17. So he's only had it four years, put less than a hundred hours on it on his end, spent all the money fixing it up. And like I say, now is just uh, time for Scott to be retiring. So really uh, a, a four wheel drive tractor with a little uh, age on it, but uh, really ready to roll. Yes. And he's got all of the documentation that will be posted on your website as well, to verify all the repairs. So go through all those items, check it all out. Plus he's also selling a John Deere 2700 mulch ripper. Uh, on the on your sale, Greg. So I think you got a great uh, lineup of two items here represented by the owner selling to the highest bidder. Right. And uh, folks always like to know the situation, why they're selling. And uh, again, for in Scott's situation, just time to retire there. So I'd be really interested on that four wheel drive. Um, it just seems like the pre-tier four, pre-def first or second owner ones with kind of reasonable to low hours mark have been really hot um, here the last 12 to 18 months. Um, have you sort of been seeing the same thing out there? We have been seeing the same thing. Uh, folks that uh, want to get away from all those extra additives, they got to keep putting into those engines. They're running a little hotter than they like. And uh, these uh, tractors, even the, the trucks, everything that's got those uh, deaf motors, uh, pre-deaf is uh, bringing a premium right now when uh, you have an opportunity to bid on them and buy them. Right. Well, check it out, folks. The 03 John Deere 9320 on our November 23rd Machinery Pete Online auction from uh, Bay City, Wisconsin. Uh, Scott Zimmer just retiring there. Now, Mark, we're going to head your way now, actually, to your, I think, your hometown there, St. Edward, Nebraska. A couple items, just phenomenal pieces of equipment here. Let's start with the, with the semi, the Kenworth T800. Uh, hardly any miles on this thing, an 11 model. Uh, can you tell us about it? Well, yeah, Quality Trucks and Trailers uh, here in Nebraska, they're a truck a sales and service center. Uh, they've got a 2011 Kenworth T800 semi truck. It's got a little sleeper on it, folks. Got uh, chrome wheels all the way around. It's got the CAT C13 motor, and it's got less than 30,000 miles. Hmm. And, uh, they're putting it on the machine repeat auction for all your good viewers and bidders to compete for. This is a rare fine truck, folks. It's got full lockers. It's got a 10 speed, uh, simple, easy to drive. You can drive them in and out of your fields uh, uh, and throw them lockers in. So if you get a little slippery spot, you're not going to tear out your rear ends. Uh, get a hold of Jason at Quality Trucks and Trailers and talk more about this unbelievable low mile 2011 truck. Yeah, incredible. Uh, 10 years old, 
29,121 miles on it. You just don't, you just don't find trucks like this, folks. And again, uh, like Mark said, the contact information, uh, get a hold of Jason. You can find all the info, all the picks right on uh, machinerypeat.com for our November 23rd auction. Coming up, we're going to talk about the feature item on our November 23rd Machinery Repeat online auction. A beautiful 2019 Case H 6150 combine. Got that vintage retro look, 485 engine hours on it. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit machinerypeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Well, folks, time to talk about our feature item on our November 23rd Machine Repeat online auction. How about this combine, a 2019 Case IH 6150. It's got that retro vintage look to it that Case IH came out with back three years ago in 2018 that's got had so many people talking about it. This thing has 485 engine hours on it and is for sale by Corbin Richardson out of Champaign, Illinois. Now this is a one owner combine off of farm retirement and uh, boy, just a beautiful machine. So it's interesting folks, Corbin actually had and has this combine listed for sale by owner in our machinerypeat.com website, uh, listed it not too long ago. He has an asking price of 285,000 on it, but again, now it's gonna sell absolute on our November 23rd online auction with no buyer's fees at machinerypeat.com. Again, it's a one owner machine. Uh, now it's interesting, this, this vintage retro look I find so interesting. And again, smart for Case H to do that. I've been a big fan of the nostalgia play on the farm equipment manufacturer side. It's, an, it's not easy to do, but when you do it right, you can pull in potential buyers um, and also appeal to the folks who grew up driving those were young at the time, now they're farther in their farm career, have more money to spend. So in this case, this look, this vintage look, going back to the first axial flow combines by International Harvester in 1977. And again, they came out with this look with the white top and the black stripe with the model number on there. It just looks sharp and just gets people talking. Now, the interesting thing here with a 6150, uh, this vintage look was made just for the 150 series Case H combine, so the 5150, the 6150, and the 7150. Now there aren't many of these for sale, and I'm sure you folks know that. So really, really unique opportunity here, November 23rd, to, to bid on this thing and buy it. And frankly, I have not seen a 6150, uh, 5150, or a 7150 sold at auction yet. So I'm with, I'll be like you, super interested to see what it brings. Now I would say that these Class Six smaller Combines have been very, very hot, you know, the last couple of years. You've probably seen me talk about this quite a bit. But for example, if we look on the green side, a little bit older model, but a, a John Deere 9570 STS, I mean, the average auction price this year is up 20.9% to just under $97,000. Uh, but combines in general just have been very, very strong throughout the year and getting stronger towards the end of the year. Again, if we look to a, a very common larger machine on the deer side, a John Deere S670, which they made from 2012 to 17, same story, average auction price up 11.1%, which is actually unprecedented for a, a machine, a combine of that age to go up in value at auction. Um, now here's a look at uh, a quarterly report I put out for the investment community, our machine repeat use values index. And you can see, this is through second quarter to 20, 2021, you can see we've actually had four quarters in a row of rising combine values. And no secret here, but the third quarter is gonna make the fifth straight quarter of rising values. So again, on a November 23rd sale here, folks, this 2019 Case IH 6150 with the vintage retro look, 485 engine hours, 335 SEP hours, uh, two, or 348 horsepower. Hop on to machinerypeat.com, click that bid button, because this is a very, uh, will be a very talked about combine, and there'll be a happy buyer out there, a happy Christmas for someone who buys this 6150. Well, thanks for joining us folks here on our Machinery Repeat TV auction edition preview of our November 23rd sale. Again, not a ton of equipment, but some really nice stuff. I hope you're able to hop hop on to machinerypeat.com, click that bid button, 
get yourself that piece of equipment you need. And if you're looking to sell, you can list your equipment for sale on our monthly Machine Repeat online auction. Our next sale is December 21st on a Tuesday. It'll be a great time to be a seller year-end. Get those uh, uh, year-end tax motivated buyers on your side. Just give us a call, 844-727-6374, or just click on the contact and drop us an email at machinerepeat.com.